Hi, in this video I'm going to discuss metacognition. Metacognition is uh, defined in different ways. One way to define it is that it's cognition about cognition, and that's basically meta, which uh, meta plus cognition, and meta itself means beyond or on top of. Another way of defining metacognition is the ability to think about thinking or to know about knowing or to become aware of your awareness or similar definitions. These definitions are generic or general. Some specific uh, definitions of metacognition include our inner thinking or inner speech. Uh, perhaps Flavel was one of the, uh, the first scholars who uh, defined metacognition more methodically. He defined it as knowledge and cognition about cognitive phenomena uh, or any conscious cognitive or affective experiences that accompany and pertain to any intellectual enterprise. In addition, uh, what I would like to add here is that metacognition can also refer to the ability to recognize our cognitive state um, or to know and assess what we know or what we don't know and use this knowledge uh, to plan to solve, to behave, to solve problems, to behave in, an, in a specific way, to study, etc. So, which means that metacognition helps us to plan and monitor our activities. We can trace it back to Descartes at least as well, but Descartes uh, himself didn't uh, use the word metacognition. Like I said, Flavel is probably the first scholar who used uh, the word metacognition. But Descartes, uh, Descartes' statement, uh, which is now very famous in all sciences, which goes like uh, cogito ergo sum, uh, seems to be one indication that uh, he was referring to this uh, you know, type of consciousness in humans. He believed that this consciousness only is uh, specific to humans and not, not other species. Uh, I've been discussing how to teach oracy and uh, speaking. Now, I would like to connect uh, oracy with metacognition in this slide. Uh, there would be two uh, methods to teach oracy, one of which uh, relies on pure communicative practices, uh, or CLT, in which there is no notice of the skills of the language that is used to support oracy. On the other hand, uh, there is a direct teaching method, where, which is of course different from uh, the direct method, which was common in uh, early 19, uh, um, you know, the 19th century or 20th century. Uh, in this direct teaching method, we explicitly teach skills and processes of language and uh, articulation and, and listening comprehension as well. Uh, so this is where the concept of metacognition fits in because in this approach we're looking for uh, kind of uh, what we want to do is to engage students in the process of developing fluency and moving from fluency to accuracy. Uh, one of the techniques as I have discussed before in four videos that I just created and uploaded, one of the techniques that we want to uh, engage students is, is to uh, to raise their awareness about the thought processes, about their strengths and weaknesses in their speaking. This is basically to uh, on a par with engaging them in metacognitive thinking and uh, uh, planning, monitoring, and evaluating their performance as well as the as well as their learning over time. Um, there are two kinds of metacognition according to Go, Christine Go. Uh, one is metacognitive knowledge and the other type is metacognitive strategy. Uh, I think both of them are important for teachers to know about so I quickly talk about them and provide some details here. The first type or metacognitive knowledge has to do with self-appraisal. In other words, when you are engaging students in self-assessment, what we we're doing is actually to tap into their uh, knowledge of of their thought processes or th thought um, or thinking. On the other hand, when we are engaging students in self-regulation, which I've discussed in previous videos, what we're doing is actually to tap into their strategy, to the metacognitive strategy. So we want to build their a metacognitive strategy so that they will be able to self-regulate their learning and use this uh, self-regulation knowledge and ability uh, to plan for themselves, to plan learning and to uh, 
uh, perhaps solve the prob problems that uh, they encounter in language learning, etc.